Genius Radio. It's easy, the 25th day of November 2019. Welcome back to the blogs today on Genius Radio TV, where we bring you the top most stories vibrating the internet that were posted on the top blogs in Nigeria. So guys, let's check out what's hot on the blogs. So here's the first story today from Lena Keji's blog. Pastor assembles half-naked woman to pray in his church where a one-year-old child got missing in Akure. And the story says, a video which has now gone viral on social media captured the founder of Sot to Be Miracle Center in Akure, Prophet Babatine Omoemi assembled half-naked women to pray for him weeks after a one-year-old child got missing during the church special service. From a video which was shared, the half-naked elderly woman prayed that the pastor overcomes every battle and challenge aimed at bringing him down. Activist at Yemi Fash who posted the video from the church tweeted, This is the church where a one-year-old got missing two weeks ago in Akure. The pastor assembled half-naked women to pray for him right inside the church. Meanwhile, the missing child is yet to be found. A place where people go naked to pray cannot be a church. It is a shrine. Our second Second post is also coming off Lena KG. You have verbal diarrhea, Dino Milai slams at the Moshmole. So the story goes that Senator Dino Milai has responded to the All Progressive Congress Adams Oshimole's claim of him and other lawmakers who decamped to the People's Democratic Party PDP alongside the former Senate President Bukola Saraki being punished by the electorate for being disloyal. So Dino Milai, who has slammed Oshimole for saying that he is 20,000 feet below ground level and may not win the rerun election for Kogi West Senatorial District, stated that. That the former governor of Edo State is suffering from verbal diarrhea and cannot determine the outcome of the supplementary election to be conducted by the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC. So Dino Malai, who got featured on Channel Television, said, The verbal diarrhea by the chairman of APC boasting that 16 of us left the APC and I am the only one standing. And in a matter of days, he said I will leave the Senate. I want to say that is human verdict, but there is a God verdict. My seat will not be vacant. I will continue to be Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria by God's grace in the next four years. I won that election and we have the pink copies of all our unit results. This having tabulated clearly, I won that election and smart Adeyemi in his good country knows that I've won the election. Moving over to another top story posted on Legit on NG. George threatens to jail SSS DG over refusal to release Revolution Now Krona. The refusal of the State Security Service SSS to release a detained activist and convener of the Revolution Now protest, Omoyele Showare, and his co accused Olawale Bakari, has annoyed Justice Ijama Ojuku of the Federal High Court of Abuja. As a result of this, the judge has threatened to jail Yusuf Breche, Director General of the Security Outfits. Heading back to Linda Cage's blog, Yemio Sibadio and wife Dolapo celebrate the 30th wedding anniversary. So the story goes, VP Yemio Sibadio and wife are celebrating their 30th wedding anniversary today, November 25th. Miss Osibanjo shared this throwback photo from her wedding day and wrote, Hand in hand on 25th November 1989, it's our 30th wedding anniversary, to God be the glory. Wedding anniversary by God's grace. Heading over to Instablog Niger, Tasha shares pictures from her first ever photo shoot at the age of 17. Now heading right back to Linda KG, Momfa pleads not guilty. Islamila Mustafa aka Momfa has pleaded not guilty to 33 billion naira money laundering and internet crime charges filed against him by the Economic and Finance Financial Crimes Commission EFCC. Momfa was arraigned on Monday before Justice Mohamed Liman of the Federal High Court on a 14 count charge this morning, November 25th. Following his non guilty plea, the presiding judge ordered him to be remanded in prison custody and adjourned the case to Friday, November 29th for hearing of his bail application and commencement of a trial. Heading right back to Legit at NG, allow Buhari governors for tall term, APC member reportedly tells NAS and AGF. So the story goes that a member of the All Progressive Party in Eboin State, Charles Oko Enya, has reportedly appealed to the Federal High Court in Abakaliki to ask the National Assembly and the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, to remove the constitutional clauses stopping President Muhammad Buhari from getting a tall term. So lastly guys, we end up on the entertainment section of Pulse.ng, Mr. Easy calls out headies for a allegedly not getting cars three years after. So the story goes that the music star took to his Twitter page on Sunday, November 24, 2019, where he threw shades at Hip TV organizers of the Headies Awards. Hip TV had posted a photo of Mr. Easy and his girlfriend, Timmy Otedola, on his Twitter page, where they wrote a JTO fashion at Mr. Easy, feeling like Tony Montala and Elvira. And Mr. Easy responded, instead make you not give me my car, you know, they hear the tweet couple goals, he wrote. Now, Hip TV is yet to respond to Mr. Easy's claims, neither has the music star taken down the tweet. Mr. Easy won the next rated category in 2016 at the Head is Awards. So guys, those were the top stories that shook the internet today on the blogs.
Make sure you subscribe and turn on bell notifications if you want to get more updates just like this one right here. This is Genius Radio TV and we are. This is our review with me Genius Radio.